A stem and leaf diagram is probably the most simple graph you can draw and it's used to represent discrete data generally. Now what we do is we've got lots of numbers here which are tens, e.g. 12, 25, 52. And I put the tens down the side so we've got 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. So the number 12 is a 10 and a 2. 23 is 23. Then 25. So 23 and 25. So as you can see, 10 unit, 10 unit. 52 is 52. Then a 51. 52, 51. A 29. A 43. A 34. A 51, another one, and a 40. Look how I've lined all the numbers up nice and carefully. Now this is called an unordered stem and leaf diagram. It often makes sense to then order it. So I go through each row in turn and order the numbers that are there. That's ordered. This one, 359, order is ordered. Then 34, that's okay. 43 and 40, I can swap those numbers around to make it ordered. And then 211, make it ordered, 112. Now, what we're then missing is a key to show what the numbers mean. So, for example, I'd write down 1 2 represents 12. This is important because it could represent 1.2 or 2.3 or 2.5 so the key defines exactly what scale the numbers are which we are using. To finish off with we could then use this to find the median once it's been ordered. Now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 there are 10 numbers there so to find the median we do 10 plus 1 over 2 which is the fifth or the 5.5 number. So we count up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the fifth number is 34. The sixth, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The sixth is 40. So the 5.5 number is the one which is between those two. And halfway between 34 and 40 is 37. So the median is 37.